It was difficult. But... Carling Kolbuck and her fiancé were planning to get married in November with 250 guests, but those wedding bells won't be ringing anytime soon. I kind of just knew it wasn't going to happen. Ontario is now the latest province to reimpose COVID-19 restrictions, limiting outdoor and indoor gatherings in Ottawa, Toronto and Peel region, where COVID-19 cases are climbing. It seems like it's the right call, to be honest. It was, I think it was a little little early for things to, to move it the way they did. And I mean, we're seeing the result of that right now. This Toronto University student lined up for several hours for a COVID-19 test after he received a smartphone alert that he'd been exposed. Most of the province's new cases are young adults. Health officials blaming private parties and large family get-togethers. They must be a few fries short of a Happy Meal, these people, because I just don't, I don't get it. They, they go out there, they know the rules, and they just blatantly ignore it. Those caught breaking Ontario's rules will now face hefty fines, $750 for guests and a minimum $10,000 fine for organizers. The Achilles heel of all of these restrictions is, is enforcement and how you go about ensuring that, that people stick with it. And I think uh, the challenge with uh, social gathering restrictions is that it's um, it's it's a it's an activity that is going to be caught quite infrequently. Quebec and British Columbia also recently reimposed some restrictions targeting nightclubs, bars, and banquet halls. But Ontario's indoor gathering rules will not apply to businesses such as restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms. I think it's reasonable. I would rather people be you know at a restaurant where there's distancing, where there's controls, where there's measures, where there's contact tracing, then in a house together. Weddings, which have sparked several recent outbreaks, will also be allowed, so long as they're held in banquet halls or facilities with staff enforcing restrictions. Still, Colebuck and her fiance have decided to wait until November 2021. I think uh, my parents are probably just upset they're gonna have to wait for a grandchild another year. <laughs> Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.